during Rey and Kylo Ren's final face-off with Palpatine at the end of The Rise of Skywalker, thousands of Sith cultists stand and watch on the sidelines as the Last Jedi and the Last Sith Lord fight for dominance. Nevertheless, they don't seem to help or provide any aid when Palpatine is defeated. The Sith cultists on Exegol are known as the Sith Eternal, a group devoted to serving Palpatine and the Sith Order. To this end, they labored on Exegol to create the massive fleet of new generation Star Destroyers for Palpatine to command. They were also crucial in using their dark powers to resurrect Palpatine and keep him alive. In the Darth Vader number 11 comic, Palpatine describes how any one of the Sith cultists could replace Vader at his side. In other words, the Sith cultists were powerful force users. However, in the Rise of Skywalker, they are not force sensitive looking during the last fight. They basically stand there, watching Palpatine be defeated and get crushed by debris before ever exercising any of their power. The Bad Batch Season 3 shows how obsessed Palpatine is with Project Necromancer, his bid to transfer his soul into a more powerful clone of himself. The only thing standing in his way is an issue where cloning causes a degradation in the M count, or midichlorian count, of the clone. It's possible the thousands of Sith cultists on Exegol ended up giving their midichlorians to Palpatine's imperfect clone. This would explain why the cultists are apparently force sensitive in the Vader number 11 comic despite their uselessness in The Rise of Skywalker. There, they are subservient onlookers in the sequels because they gave their midichlorians to help resurrect Palpatine. One thing is for sure, the more I learn about Palpatine's resurrection, the more I'm liking The Rise of Skywalker. Peace out.